Hey gang, thanks for joining me. Uh, today we're going to be watching a great uh, video by a guy named Mark Walters who has a video channel on YouTube called Walters World. That's W-O-L-T-E-R apostrophe S. The guy reminds me of Rick Steves. I've been watching him for a number of years. He really knows his stuff. He travels all over the country and the world with his beautiful wife and his children. Tells you where you should go, where you shouldn't go, what you should do, what you shouldn't do to be safe. And enjoy yourself. Uh, today we're going to watch a video by Mark uh, called Ugly Tourists in Texas and How to Upset Texans. Should be really good being that I am born and raised in a small town called Dallas, Texas. You may have heard of it. Anyway, without any further ado, let's get right into the video. Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World and today we're here in San Antonio, Texas for some of the things that tourists need to know before they come to Texas so they don't upset the locals. You know, don't mess with Texas. And I think the first thing you need to know as a tourist coming here to Texas, the one thing you will do no matter what that will upset the locals, it will probably the first thing you do because you're going to be driving into Texas is not driving fast. Look, 65 miles an hour speed limit, that's the minimum they drive fast here. I know some people think, oh, those one thing we're always looking for is that 75 mile an hour speed limit sign. <clears throat> Pardon me. For the most part, Texas uh, drivers drive very carefully and cautiously and courteously. It's the big wheels you got to watch out for. Those 18 wheelers, they will run you right off the road. But remember, they're not from Texas. Not all of them anyway. A lot of them from all over the country. They're just trying to drop their load and get out of there, but uh, they don't care if you get in their way. Uh, just be, be a good driver when you come. Be courteous. That's all we care about. Those are big trucks. Those big trucks with those big tires, they can't go fast. Oh, yes, they can. And they will. And if you want a guarantee to upset a local, just drive slow or stay in the left-hand lane. That is one way to guarantee that people are going to be like, dude, keep up with the traffic. Because driving fast... I don't know if it's this way all over the country, but the left-hand lane is the fast lane. If you have nowhere to go, get in the right lane, get out of our way, please. Thank you. ...is Texas. And I think going along with our don't mess with Texas, I think the second thing Alex. that kind of upsets the locals when you come here to Texas is if you pick on Texas pride. When I talk about picking on Texas pride, we're talking about things that truly represent Texas, things that people from Texas swear by. It is one thing that my grandma and my grandpa did, and I do it too. You're going to see a lot of things in Texas shaped like Texas. It's because we love the shape of our state. Don't know why. I just look at it and I love it. Um, and we have a lot of things that you may think are, you know, old and out of date, but a lot of them still have function. Like for this picture right here, what you're seeing is that's the Fort Worth Stockyards. That's the cattle drive. And they do that once or twice a day. It's probably twice. And it's actually functional. It's to get the... the cows from one end of the street to the other. So if you ever get a chance to go to the Fort Worth Stockyard, very historic and very, very unique. If you want to feel like you went to Texas, Fort Worth Stockyards is where you need to be. Beautiful animals, look at those things. They do have a certain level of pride in certain things. So if you're bad-mouthing Bluebell ice cream, that's not going to go over well. If you're not wowed by Whataburger and their spicy ketchup, again, rice. that's not going to be taken well. If you think, oh, HEB is just another grocery store, no! Or my God, God forbid you go to Bucky's and you don't buy a t-shirt and 9,000 things you didn't need. I mean, it's the gas station target. So Bucky's. I don't know if you've heard of Bucky's. Uh, we don't. They're not all over the country. I think there's a couple now out of state. But Bucky's is an event, a, a, a real unique experience. If you go to Texas and you pass a Bucky's, do not pass it by. Go in, spend half an hour. They've got great barbecue. They've got great beef jerky, as that picture is showing right there. But Bucky's is a real experience, and we do love Bucky's. It's like no other gas station on the planet. It's it's really I love Bucky's. Of the world! I mean, Bucky's is really cool. And they have such pride in Texas and things that are Texan that if you don't like it or you say something bad about it or you're not as impressed with it, sometimes that just makes them go, ah, you're not from Texas, you wouldn't understand. Because not everybody gets Big Red. I understand that, but just know, <sighs> messing with Texan stuff probably is going to put you on the wrong side of uh, some of the locals when you're here. And one of the things that's funny is as much as Texas loves Texas, Texas love Texas stuff, another way you upset them is if you tell them, oh, 
Well, then that means you're, you're not a southern state. Oh, no, no, no. Texans, if you tell them they're not in the South, they're not a Southern state, they're like, what are you talking about? We've got, we've got Southern stuff, we've got barbecue, we've got howdy and y'all, we got all those things. So, we do have the best barbecue in, in the world, I think. I mean, it's different all over, everywhere you go. But Texas has the best barbecue and the best Mexican food, I think, number one, because we're so close to the border. But if you get a chance to try our brisket, the brisket is what you want in Texas. Pulled pork, people will say pulled pork is the barbecue that you want. That isn't barbecue. What you want is the brisket. Um, so if you ever get down to Texas, Mexican food and the barbecue brisket, that's what you want. Things, you know, and, and we've got the heat and the humidity and all kinds of stuff. And, and they'll get upset, but then you'll say, wait, but I thought you said Texas is its own thing. So is Texas a part of the South then? They're like, well, no, Texas is its own thing. So no matter if you say Texas is part of the South or you say Texas isn't part of the South, you're gonna upset somebody. Now, no matter what side of the divide you fall on, Texas a Southern state or Texas is its own thing, is if you kind of make fun of the accents or you're, you're saying things like y'all ain't a word, no, like that's part of the thing you do here. So y'all, I use it all the time, y'all. All the time. I mean, I realize that I'm going to say it in every video that I do, probably more than once. And howdy, I use that too. Uh, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. Yes, sir, no, sir. I still use those. And mostly because if I didn't say that as a kid, I'd pick myself up off the floor. That's just how it is. Uh, we are taught manners when we're young in Texas like you've never seen before. I don't care what part of the country you're from. When you talk about Texas, it's a yes ma'am, no ma'am, yes sir, no sir kind of state. You might make sure you say it. Anyway, uh, you'd be surprised as a traveling nurse how many northern states I go to where people are offended by being said yes ma'am, no no ma'am, yes sir, no sir. People get offended about that, but I always remind them it's going to be a long 13 weeks because I'm from Texas and that's all I know how to say. You hear the howdies, you do hear the y'alls, you do hear some of those things, and those are normal. So don't be making fun of people, that's not cool, that's not mannerly. And that kind of leads us into another one of the things I think people do that upset the locals, and that's just not using your manners. I mean, Texans are famous for being friendly, being very open, I mean, let's be honest. Most of the stuff on this list, when you talk to Texans, they're not going to care. They're pretty chilled out about a lot of things. But one thing that they really appreciate is that people use their manners. And it's more than, yes sir, no sir, yes man, no man. You're getting that door. You're helping people with their stuff. You're letting them know that, oh, that bathroom's dirty. You might want to go to the other one. I mean, that's the Texas way. And, and sometimes it's a stereotype that Texans are overly friendly. But you have to realize, it's not that they're overly friendly. It's just that they're polite and they use their manners. And that comes across, I should say, as being super friendly when you're not used to those manners all the time. Okay, so don't forget your manners when you're here. Because if you do, don't be surprised if somebody calls you out on it when you are here. Now, another thing that kind of might be a sensitive top to talk about with people when you're here that might get people riled up a bit is you tell people you're moving to texas because people from texas know why you're coming here they love texas hence all the texas pride but if you're saying you're moving to texas or we have a lot of explants <laughs> we have a lot of explants from california oh my gosh and here's the problem it's not that you're moving from california the problem is, is that you're moving from California to be in Texas because of the way Texas is, and then you want to vote blue. You want to vote Democratic. Texas is not a Democratic state. We're Republican, and you can tell we're Republican because we believe in keeping all our rights. Part of what you might see when you come to Texas is people with guns strapped to their hips. When I'm in Texas, I have a gun strapped to my hip. It's my right. Um, don't come from California to get away from the crap hole that California has become. And I'm, I'm sorry if you're from California, but we all know. We all know, right? It's not a secret. Um, don't come here and vote blue. It's not going to do you any good. Don't bring that stuff. We Leave that suitcase back home. That's the problem that we have in Texas is people want to come here and change it to the way their state is when they're leaving their state because of the way their state is. So just... Just leave all that back there and come here and be friends. That's all I'm saying. 
especially if you're saying you're moving to Texas from California, oh mm. wow, that is gonna get people riled up, okay? I'm just gonna tell you that one right now, okay? And, and kind of going along with that, because a lot of people move to Austin, it's one of those big booming areas here in Texas, is I think it is, if you say, oh, I've been to Texas, or I know Texas, and all you've ever done is go to Austin, Look, Austin's a cool city. I've had a great time when I've gone there, but if you say- Austin, while it's a part of Texas, it's very woke, very millennial, very artsy fartsy, very expensive to live in. And it is the furthest- If there were a blue area on our map, I swear to you it'd be Austin. Um, it's always been like that though. It's always been cutting edge, kind of doing the next thing, trying to be different than everyone else to the point where it really shot them in the foot. And now they can't get away from their own shadow. So anyway, Austin's a beautiful place. It's our capital. It has some beautiful places to visit and see, but I wouldn't want to live there. Say that, you have to realize is that Austin has a special relationship with the rest of Texas because there's a lot of people here in Texas that don't feel that Austin's really part of Texas, even though it's the capital. So just know that that might be um, some touchy topics if you talk about that. Now, another cultural faux pas you might have when you come here to Texas that might upset the locals is if you basically say, well, football isn't for Fridays. Football is Saturday for college and Sundays for the Cowboys. Yes, but don't forget about Friday football. High school football is a big thing here. And since people have a lot of pride in Texas, they have a lot of Stay pride here, in Texas. their town, and they have a lot of pride in their high school they went to or their kids went to, people ball. keep going to the high school games well after high school. Like if your kids might have graduated 20 years before, you're still going to Friday night football with your local kids' high school teams. Because you know what? This happens, but you know what I find about that is that's not unique to Texas because there are a lot of people all across this country that do the same exact thing. Uh, good work, Mark, and yes, you're absolutely right, but that is not unique to Texas, I'm just gonna say. While we do love our football, and we love our kids, and we love our high school bands and all that stuff, nah, you, you see that pretty much anywhere you go that they have children, which is everywhere. But little Johnny down the street, he plays on the team, and Juan over there across the street, he's also on the team, and I wanna go support them Though you're like 80 years old. I mean, this is one of those things. Football is big here, okay? And yes, their college teams haven't been super great the last few years, but things are turning around for them. But just know, if you like plan stuff for a Friday night and don't factor in Friday football or Saturday football or Sunday football, just be aware of that. Um, so yeah, but, but don't worry. If, you, if you're talking about professional football, it's the Cowboys. No, nobody cares about the Texans, honestly. Even Houston, <laughs> I wonder true. sometimes. I mean, just... Just go with the Cowboys on that one. Now let's focus on some food faux pas that you might make when you come to Texas that will upset the locals. And one is you tell them that true barbecue is pulled pork. Oh, hell no. I hear that a lot. Not, not here true. in cattle country. Here in Texas, it's all about brisket, okay? Yes, you can get pulled pork and you can get pulled chicken. You can get all those other things. But honestly, in Texas, it's all about the brisket. And you want to have that. That's what you want to get when you're here. And so if you invite friends over and we're having a barbecue, or we're having barbecue and you've got hot dogs or pulled pork, the locals will be like, dude, I, I thought we were friends, okay? So remember that. Another food thing, and this is one thing, you will insult a Texan, whether they're young, old, rich, poor, wherever they are in the state, is if you kind of pshaw when they suggest having breakfast tacos. Look, it doesn't matter who you are. Everybody loves breakfast tacos. And it doesn't matter if you're going to Torchy's in Austin or you're going to the gas station down the street to grab some or your local taqueria. So he just said taqueria, by the way. Um, we have a lot, and you can tell by this picture right here, in fact, we have a lot of Hispanic people in Texas being so close to the border. And I'm not even gonna get into the whole, and I'm not even gonna get into the whole border thing. But uh, one thing you might learn is Spanish is very common. If you can pick up a few Spanish phrases, that might do you good. I'm telling you this because there are a lot of people who speak Spanish and do not speak English in Texas. And so it might be a good thing to do. Also, our Mexican food is top notch, by the way. We have a lot of Hispanic families and they do know their culture and 
they love to share it with us. And I'm very proud and honored every time I get to sit down and have a very good, uh, very good meal in a Mexican restaurant. And you can tell the ones that aren't any good, by the way, very quickly. If you walk into a place and it looks like this, it's very plain, but yet their population or their, their clientele uh, uh, is Spanish, you know it's going to be good. If you walk into a place that tries to look like a Spanish or a Mexican restaurant, you better run like hell. To grab some in the morning, breakfast tacos are the bomb. And if you're kind of poo-pooing them off because you're thinking, oh, McDonald's breakfast burritos? How could they be so special? Oh, my God. Here? It's not breakfast burritos. They're just breakfast tacos are amazing, okay? So definitely have them. It's a good way to ingratiate yourself with the locals. Also, they do like to uh, take you to go get them so they show, look, it really is at a gas station. It goes a long way to make better Texas friends when you're here, so. Best, Best tacos, tacos I ever had? I would go by this place. It was a gas station, I swear to you. I, I kid you not. And I would say, man, I would never eat here. I would never eat at a gas station. When I saw him slicing this beef off, this carne off of the spit, and putting it in the tortilla, and I'm like, mmm, man, that looks really good. Let me tell you something. The best tacos I ever had were from a gas station, taqueria. Don't count it out. And the worst ones I've ever had were McDonald's. Now I have to, I have to disagree with uh, Mark here. Uh, try at your own risk. <laughs> Don't be dissing no breakfast tacos. Those breakfast tacos are amazing. And here's a little thing. All these things that might annoy people, you might not get any rise out of them, you might get something, but there's one certain way, certain thing you can say that will set off everybody in Texas. It doesn't matter who it is. This is the scariest thing any Texan can hear. Let's say it's the middle of July. This, this gonna have to do You're summer. visiting your friends in Texas. Here. Just walk out of their house in the middle of July and be like, hey, Bob, I think your air conditioner is broke. You will see people freak out because, yeah. oh my God, it's so hot here in the summer. And when the AC goes out, people melt, okay? You will see people. So we get about 120 degrees in the shade in the summertime in Texas. And I'm not kidding you. And if you want to try me, try me. Come here in your sweaters and your long pants and all that stuff and your shoes. But smart people, We'll pack shorts and short sleeve shirts and sandals and bring a lot of water with them. Uh, it gets hot. And man, let me tell you something. If you're a traveler and you travel here in August, either crack your windows a little bit or put up a sunshade because your windshield will bust from that pressure, from that heat expanding in your car. It gets to be about 400, 500 degrees in your car. So test me. Test me on that and you'll fail every time because it does get hot. It's not like anywhere else in the country. I've been in Arizona in the summertime and yeah, it gets hot there, but it's nothing like it when you start mixing that humidity with that heat. Dress cool in the summer. People that will get hotels because the AC in their house doesn't work in the summer, okay? So sure. that's really the scariest thing. You can tell somebody from Texas that they will freak out about, all right? so. I hope you liked our few little things that tourists might say or do that might upset the locals here in Texas. And yes, I personally didn't talk about two specific topics for specific reasons, but I think you can imagine those because I don't want the comments turned into that craziness. That's, That's probably, probably politics, politics. <laughs> and also <laughs> our border problem. problem. I'm, I'm just guessing. I uh, can't think of anything else that might be otherwise. Um, he, he could, could be, be talking, talking about Texas, Texas succeeding from the from Union, which is always a big push. The Texit thing, T-E-X-I-T, -E look it up. Uh, could be what he's talking about, I'm not really sure. But what are some things that you know that can set off people from Texas? So people that come here know how to be better integrated with their friendly neighborhood Texan. Buy it from here in San Antonio. So great video, Mark. Great video. I loved it. As always, you did a great job. Uh, people, visit Walter's World. If you would like, please, please uh, subscribe, smash the, the bell icon, share and like my video. It gets me out there and it helps me get noticed as well. Uh, put down in the comments what you would like to see me do or cover and I'll get right on it. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you.